Well, I've beaten my meringues and the egg whites are perfect. And there's one last little bit to do. The egg whites, see how nice and stiff they are? There's six large egg whites at room temperature, one teaspoon of squeezed lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and you beat it until it's frothy. To make the meringues, you have to have sugar. One cup of super fine sugar, just added gradually while the mixture is beating and beating and beating. And now the last step of all is to sprinkle over the meringue some cornstarch. One and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I just like to sprinkle it through a sieve so that there are no lumps. And I use the whip itself and just mix the cornstarch right into the meringues. And this is gonna bake in an oven that's been preheated to 200 degrees. Here's a very simple way. You could pipe these into uh, lovely little mounds, but an easy way to make these meringues is to take a large spoon like that and put a dollop right on some parchment paper. And another. Put as many as you can per tray. Looks like we're gonna get four on this tray, or possibly five. These are free form pavlova types. And then you can take a smaller spoon and make an indentation right in the meringue. That way you'll be able to fill the meringue with strawberries or fresh fruit and whipped cream. So these go into 200 degree oven for an hour, reduce the heat to 175 and leave them in for another hour until they're done. What are we making? We're making part of a wonderful, great dessert buffet. We're serving two main desserts, two fruit purees and two sauces. The two desserts, well, they're meringue cups that I've just put in the oven and the most delicious pound cake. And the toppings, this is one of them. It's a delicious poached pineapple. And we've made a sugar syrup. It's three cups of sugar and six cups of water. The sugar has dissolved. And to the sugar syrup, we're gonna add one vanilla bean that's been split, some star anise. And again, according to your taste, I think star anise is very strong. So I'm gonna add three and some white peppercorns, about a teaspoon. You can use black peppercorns if you like. And a pinch of salt. And then this is two ripe pineapples that have been peeled and cored and cut into one inch thick chunks. Bring this with the pineapple to a boil. And then reduce to a simmer for 10 minutes. Then remove from the heat and let stand until room temperature. And this is what the pineapple looks like, icy cold and just ready. And then take a little taste. Mmm, it's really good. So here's a very simple but very pretty buffet table. We have a runner down the center sprinkled with rose petals and two desserts, the pound cake that is oh so good, and the meringue cups, which are oh so beautiful. You can um, make these and put them, once they're all dry, into an airtight container, and they can last for several days. The fruits, the fruit salad, the blueberries, and we've used apricots with mint today. Well, this can be prepared right before the party. The pineapple can be made yesterday, very simply, and lemon curd, raspberry sauce made yesterday, whipped cream made today. And it's time to sample something. I think I'll try the pound cake with, hmm, I love lemon curd so much. And maybe just some blueberries and lemon curd. It's nice to be able to choose what you're going to have. And especially when the choice is so very, very nice. Everything fresh, everything homemade. And if you don't have time to make everything, you can buy the meringues, you can buy a really good pound cake at the local bakery, and you can have a dessert buffet for a graduation party. That is the perfect way to satisfy everyone's sweet tooth. Happy graduation.